it's tempting when you have something that's clearly working, a format that's working. Um, and people have said over the years, well, it's a plot-driven show, not a character-driven show. And now you are focusing on well, character it's not focusing, in a different way. Well, it's a, it's a uh, instead of using demi spoons, it's sort of a soup spoon this year. Yeah. Uh -huh. But no ladles, you know. It's not <laughs> <laughs> and how does that feel, Opeth? Is that... A good challenge as an actor. Oh, it's great for me. You know, the, the the thing about Van Buren is she's always sort of there but in the background and and it's nice to have those moments where I have an opportunity to to really work with, with everyone because usually when we have these kinds of ep episodes, you have the opportunity to work with each of the main characters where I don't get to see them all the time. And uh, so it's great. It's great. Do you feel it's changed uh, from your point of view, Sam, as an actor? I mean, it's, you know, this is a long-running stint uh, to play one character in one show and format. Does it feel like it's evolved for you? Well, he's, he, McCoy's been changed by, because, because his function has changed, and so he's had to change to fit the function. And one of the things that's been fun for me is that the character was invented for the original function of being a sort of happy attack dog. And um, he still has some of those attributes, but he has a different job. So there's a nice tension that's fun to play. But the show, it seems to me, has not um, abandoned what was a great original idea. And what I think really makes the difference is not that the show has changed or evolved or anything, but that enormous amounts of attention have been paid to keeping the standard high. And I think these two guys get the credit. But also, this, um, the culture that allows people to speak up that Apatha was talking about. Because we're all invited to be heavily invested in the show. And, um, I think and that you helps. are. Mm -hmm. right. And it's also with it's. Thank you, Sam. But it's also there. It is a village. There are incredibly talented people. Fred Berner, who has been with yeah. Renee for the last ten years on both this and Criminal Intent. Mm -hmm. You know the the line people, Peter Giuliano. The you know it's funny. After twenty years, I think we have the best location department in the world. Yeah. The, you know, Malbarda. It's just it amazing. It really does it's, go right down the. They right have pictures the of the bedrooms of every single person here, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we were, well, we were going to come back uh, at, at a later point to the subject of the location because it, it is okay, so clear. One last point, just about it. how the show has changed. Yes. Um, when Dick asked me to come back uh, in, at, the end of the, at the end of the 17th season, f my producing partner, Fred, and I came back together, and we... And, we were asked, well, how can we evolve the show? Uh, uh, and we looked at what the show was. In, in the 1990s, the show was created in the middle of the crack war in New York City. So New York was dirty, run down. There was a lot of like, uh, personal crimes, muggings, and all this kind of stuff. And you know, the stories reflected that, but also the style of the show, this very sort of run and gun camera work, everything very unsteady and handheld. And so, you know, we were thinking, well, how has New York changed now, you know, since 1990? And one of, you know, it's cleaned up. Broadway has a, you know, has a promenade and all this kind of stuff. So it's, you know, the crack wars are over. Everybody aged out of that. So what's different is obviously 9-11 and kind of these all 20,000 security cameras in the city, uh, signs everywhere saying, if you see something, say something. So this kind of aura of sort of low-grade paranoia, surveillance. Uh, you know, you can't commit a crime without appearing on somebody's camera or, or phone. So we thought, well, how could we reflect that? And so, you know, Fred and I looked at movies like The Insider, Michael Mann's movie, and how things were framed on the edges of, of the frame and sort of dirty frames and all this, and kind of gave sort of a slightly edgy look to the show again. And so, you know, that's, if someone compares from a 1990 to a show now, I think that may be one thing they would notice. 